Hello everyone, this is Deepa from Senior Psychology of Arts and Science for Women, also Assistant Professor Department of Mathematics. To, today we will see some basic concepts related to sets and functions. First one is function. A function f from a to b is a relation between a and b such that for each a there is one and only one associated b. The set a is called the domain of the function and b is called its range or its codomain. We have studied so many functions that is e1 function or function. 1 1 function, n2 function, n2 function, many 1 function, modulus function, editing function, and continuous function. The next one is Cartesian product. The Cartesian product of sets A and B is defined as the set of all ordered class x, y, certain x belongs to A and y belongs to b. The Cartesian product of sets of real numbers with itself give the set of all other parts of real numbers. The next step is real value function. We know that natural numbers is subset are equal to all numbers, all numbers subset are equal to integers, Integers such that are equal to rational numbers, rational numbers such that are equal to irrational numbers, irrational numbers such that are equal to real numbers, and real numbers uh, such that are equal to complex numbers. And the real value function of a real variable is a marking of a subset of the set R of all real numbers into R function of a to B is called a real value function if the range of F is also a set of all the real values. Next one is inverse function. Inverse function means if a function should be 1, 1 and on to means then we can exit inverse function. An inverse function or an anti function is defined as a function which can reverse into another function. If f and g are inverse function, then f of x equal to 1, if and 1 the a, g of y equal to x. Next one is equivalent function. A relation R defined on a set A is called an equivalent relation. If R satisfy the following three conditions, First one is reflexion, second one is symmetry, third one is density. First one reflexion, if A comma A belongs to R, for all A belongs to A. Second one is symmetry, if A comma B belongs to R, that implies B comma A belongs to R, for all A comma B belongs to A. Density, A comma B belongs to R, and B comma C belongs to R, that implies a comma C belongs to R for all A comma B comma C belongs to A. The next one is infinite set. An infinite set is a set with an uncountable number of elements. We know that what is said. A set is a well-defined object. If a set has no element, then we can say that it has empty set. Example set of real numbers. A given that an infinite set is a set with an uncountable number of elements, that is, it has infinite number of elements. We use dots to represent the infinite elements in your system. For example, a set of infinite natural numbers. Next one is countable and uncountable sets. A set is countable. That is, a set S is countable if there is a bijection. That is, it should satisfy 1, 1 and on to condition. F not from N to S, an infinite set 
for which Dara's name such direction is called unfoundable. But if Dara's name one one and on two means, we can say that it is unfoundable. Every infinite set is contains a foundable set from. Every infinite set is contains a foundable set. Some foundable and unfoundable set. That is, any subset of a foundable set is foundable. Foundable union of foundable set is foundable. Set of polynomial with integer coefficient is foundable. Partition product of foundable set is foundable. A is unfoundable and B is foundable mean that implies A minus B is unfoundable. Some foundable union of foundable set is also foundable. Super set of unfoundable set is unfoundable. The next one is bounded and unbounded sets. If a set is bounded below and bounded above, then it is called bounded set. For example, consider the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In this set, 1 is bounded below value and 5 is bounded above value. Therefore, the set is both bounded above and bounded below value. We can say that it is a bounded set. And if a set is not bounded below and not bounded above, then it is called unbounded set. For example, 1 comma 3 comma 3, etc. In this set, we have bounded below value, but no bounded above value. Therefore, it is unbounded set. Thank you.